Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back after like two weeks of not filming and it feels so good to be in front of the camera. This is my first video that I'm filming besides my little like vlog video of my whole nose job process. This is like the first back to like regularly scheduled programming that I'm doing and I'm so excited to be here. As you can see I've got some bruises so I'm not like 100% back to normal but I'm feeling good and I'm ready to get some self tanning videos out for you guys. So today is going to be all about another Bondi Sands Technicolor Caramel self tanner. I was so excited about this one. I know the last one I did was the Emerald because that's the one that you guys really, really wanted to see. I was super excited to try this one, so I had to do it for you guys. So that's what this is going to be all about. We're going to see what it's all about. We're going to try it, see what it looks like on me. And yeah, lots of fun stuff. So before we get into it, please give this video a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Which just really, really mean a lot to me. So thank you so much if you do. But if you want to see me review this self tanner, stay tuned for the rest of the video. <sighs> okay, guys, this one is going to be a tiny, tiny bit different. You probably won't really even be able to tell a difference, but I am not going to be putting any self tanner on my face. I know I usually do like a separate facial self tanner and then like a body self tanner, but I have no facial self tanner at all on my face only because I'm like nervous to put anything on my nose still. Like it's still very, very fresh. I'm like, I want to say like day nine post-op, day nine or 10 at this point. And it's still very like sensitive and I just don't want to put anything on it. And I have like stitches or sutures like inside my nose and I don't want to like spray self tanner into that or get self tanner in there. So I think at least for this week, maybe next week, I'll avoid doing a facial self tanner just to like keep everything safe up here. But this is definitely going on my body, of course, because there's nothing wrong with my body at this point. Just my nose is healing and I have still some bruising under my eyes, but it's gotten so much better. I'll just give you guys a quick close up. I know it looks a little bit crazy on camera, but it's definitely improved and gotten smaller. So I'm very excited to get rid of these. <laughs> but back to this because my phone is close to dying and I wanna read this for you guys before it dies. You know the drill already though. I am gonna read the details on this for you, see what it's all about, and then we're gonna try it out. So if you've been with me, you know I've tried two other versions of this, the Emerald and the Magenta were the two that I tried and there's one more that I haven't tried, the Sapphire, so that will probably be my next one. But I'm super excited for this because it's supposed to be a golden tone, which you guys know I love. But yeah, I've tried two other ones. If you want to see those reviews, they're on my channel. All the more reason to subscribe. But this is today's. It is, once again, the Technicolor One Hour Express Self Tanning Foam from Bondi Sands. It is caramel. It is 6.76 ounces, so standard size, and it's $27, which I would say is very fair pricing for a self tanner of the size and everything. And then the summary says that it's vegan, it's cruelty free. It says, experience the perfect tan every time with Bondi Sands Technicolor One Hour Express Self Tanning Foam. Technicolor has been carefully curated through cutting edge research development and laser skin analysis technology to deliver results that are perfectly matched to every skin tone. It says dermachromatic color technology formulated with low level tanning active ingredients and electrolyte hydration. Wow. Perfect for deep skin tones looking to achieve a warm golden toned glow. That's exactly what I'm looking for. It says caramel color enhancers to counteract dryness. One hour express formula, suitable for sensitive skin, fragrance free and dermatologically tested. And then again, vegan and cruelty free. And then the how to use just like the other two, it's like pretty much the same as how you would do other self tanners, but it says for best results, leave it on the skin for a minimum of three hours. So I am going to do at least three hours. I'm going to sleep with this on my body like I normally do because I find I get the best results that way. So I'm going to put this on and then I will sleep on it. And then tomorrow, once I wash it off, 
as usual, I'll show you guys what it looks like. I love this though. I love the orangey packaging. It's very summery. It's very cute. I love that you just know from seeing the caps on these, which one is which, like magenta has a purple cap, emerald has a green cap, caramel has like an orangey cap. So it's very like obvious what's what. So I really like that. I j just like in the other two videos, I love the technology on the actual cap itself. So it's a twist. So you twist it this way when you're ready to pump out the product. And then when you're done applying, you twist it this way to lock it. So you're not getting any spillage. I will say what I've noticed with the other two is that the uh, cap, even when it's locked, like a little bit can leak out of the top. It's not a lot, like it doesn't make a mess at all, but I have seen it where it like leaks a little bit out the top but it isn't messy. I just like the fact that you can lock this and unlock this when you need it. I said this in the last two videos as well, but I love the shape of this. I love that it's not round. So if you like set it down on its side, it's not gonna roll around. It's just like, it'll stay flat like this. So I think it's very cute, very creative. And the other thing I wanna point out so I don't forget later on, throughout the week, these wear beautifully, you guys. I've already tried two different shades of them. I don't see anything being different with this because I believe the formulation is the same with all of them. It's just like the undertone of the color that's different with them all. But if this is just like the other two, it wears insanely beautifully throughout the week. It like fades so evenly. There's no patchiness or splotchiness or anything like that. Like it doesn't look like a fake tan it looks very very natural so i absolutely love that about this like not only is it an amazing product but it wears off and comes off very very beautifully and evenly so i had to throw that in there before i forgot but that's really all i've got for you guys i think we are ready to apply so we could just get started on putting this on my body i've prepped my skin i have like my moisturizer everywhere I needed it for my drier areas and we're good to go. So I'm gonna go neck down and then we'll talk. So let's get started. Okay guys, I am back. All of the self tanner is applied where I wanted you guys to see. So here's what it looks like for now. The first thing I noticed about this one that is different from the other two, and I don't know if you guys are noticing this like right off the bat as well, but I feel like the color guard on this one comes off a little bit lighter than the other two. Like I feel like I almost got like a little bit more like of a dark color from the other two just like initially with the color guard than I did with this like once I started applying I was like oh that's actually kind of like light like it was almost very very close to the skin tone that I already have so that was a little bit surprising to me because it did say for deeper skin tones so maybe this is just one that's really really going to develop a lot over the hours I'm hoping that's the case because I really really want to get like a deep tan with this but we'll see the color is beautiful though like this looks super super natural it looks like this is my tan and I can just go out in public like this and nobody would even tell that this is just the initial color guard but I'm here for it and I know I said it's light but it was dark enough so that I could see where I'm working so it wasn't like a clear self tanner because you guys know how I feel about those but this was not like that this was a lot more easy to work with it goes in so smooth it's so quick to apply to like super super like stress-free application I guess like it's quick it's easy it feels good the only thing and I think I said this with the other two as well it's not the most quick drying it's not super slow drying either but I've had quicker drying self tanners especially in this area I feel like it hangs on to like that wet kind of feeling but it goes away after a little bit so it's not bad but I did want to point that out 
smell it's not fragrance free in my opinion it definitely has a little bit of like a self tannery kind of smell it's subtle though it's not strong and it goes away pretty quick but it does like if you guys have ever smelled a bondi sands self tanner before that's just what it smells like i don't even know how to describe it i guess it is a little bit self tannery but it is subtle so not too bad but i feel good honestly i feel like this is just like the other two as far as application and everything goes. Just the color was a little bit different in terms of the color guard and this seems a little bit lighter than the other two did to me, but we'll see tomorrow what ends up happening. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna go sleep on this and then once I wake up, I'll wash it off and I'll come back and show you guys the results. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I am back, you guys. Here is the tan let me pull this up so you can see my stomach a little bit better i'm obsessed and i did not think there was going to be any other outcome because of how much i just loved the other two shades that i tried to but this really just did not disappoint and now i have an even harder time figuring out which one i like the most because this one just blew me out of the water this is giving me literally the perfect golden bronze just came off the beach kind of tan it's not too green it's not too red it's like the perfect like true brown color but just golden without being orange if that makes sense like this is not giving me orange whatsoever it's just giving me golden like golden hour kind of thing i'm obsessed with it i just love the way that it looks i feel like i'm having such a good self tanner day because of this and i'm obsessed i literally cannot stop looking in the mirror because i'm so happy with how this turned out as you can see i love it it just it wore really beautifully throughout the night obviously it was super comfortable forgot it was even on my body if i'm being honest one thing i will say though about the smell my fiance really does not like the smell of these like with all three of them so far i feel like he's made like some kind of a comment on the smell and i've kind of ignored it but then like last night when he said it i was like damn you really don't like the smell of these do you so keep that in mind if you're sensitive to smells and stuff he said it smells like chemically i feel like it definitely has like a self tannery kind of chemically kind of smell but to me i thought it was subtle he was like really like okay that one is like not good smell wise so everybody's different but i did want to put that in there overall though so even no splotchiness no patchiness no streaks it literally looks like this is my tan like out from the sun not from a bottle which is my favorite part like i don't like to look like i have a fake tan on i like to look like it's my natural tan and that's exactly what this is giving me my hands look very natural i wash them after probably half an hour like i normally do and it's the perfect amount to get like a natural look without getting those like patches on your knuckles so everything about this i just really really love and I don't know i don't know like i'm gonna have to compare the three of these and then maybe try the other one too and just see because i love all of them so much but this is just like i can't stop smiling when i look in the mirror because i just love the color that this is giving me i'm obsessed so it's a big yes if you were thinking about it definitely go try it for the price for the size for the technology everything that it offers it is so so beyond worth it so go try it for yourselves but that is it that's all i've got for you guys so comment and let me know what you think about how this turned out on me i'm obsessed but let me know if you are too give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel but stay tuned and i will see you guys in the next video